we are back. I am Sir Agamund, and we are continuing on as the Vela Dorwinian. Uh, I think we left off on turn 71, and uh, we might actually be at an end turn phase here. I don't know if there's actually too much we could do. We could fight uh, Kundu over here, take him out with uh, Avalon. That should be a pretty easy battle. I mean, he does have the Fairy Ag Nobles. Um, our main priorities now are going to be taking the fight to Kond, and amassing armies that can counter their mostly cavalry centric roster so what i'm thinking is is we get lots of uh avari spearmen we get those morikwendi sentinels of course pretty much any archer and crossbow unit especially thorn crossbows lots of thorn crossbows darwinian infantry and thorn guard although maybe not the thorn guard they don't have shields so maybe just darwinian infantry and vineyard levies to act as a kind of shield and a spear wall. Since if we're fighting the infantry of Kond, they don't have too much, and I feel confident in our spearmen being able to take them out. So really, we just need to make spears, crossbows, and archers, and kind of play a very defensive fight against them, because they have one full army here of complete trash, just marauders, and, I mean, don't get me wrong, marauders are very good at fighting, you know, light armored archers like very like low tier archers they're they're great they're a very cost effective cavalry unit um but against heavier units they're not going to do too much um they have this army again we're seeing a lot of we see condus raiders step archers so weak weak stuff generally but if we look farther down where we have harfast there's another army that we need to deal with I'm going to pretty much, we're going to ignore Dorgaldur for the most part. We're going to let Dale deal with them. Because our next campaign um, will actually be the Wood Elves. Um, we'll be playing as them. I know. I think the top comment in my video about that was actually the Ardenheim. But there were, there were like more comments with the Woodland Realm. And also we're currently doing the Ardenheim as a hot seat. Now I, I may do a, a single player um, version of the Ardenheim. And if we do that, I mean, it's up to you guys where we would where we would start. Like, we could go anywhere. Um, I know the traditional start is kind of up here in Tharbad. That's kind of like the, the popular area. Or Londaire could be an option. Or Siduri. Um, or even Baloran, which is a castle over here, which I think has gold mines. I think that's a gold resource right there. In fact, I can actually just check that. That is, yeah, a gold mine right there in Baloran. So that's all an option. Um, that we could do. Uh, so, or, or we could go, like, do something weird. We could go up into Dale, but we're already in this region, so why would we go back there? But yeah, we might as well take him out. This should be a fairly easy battle. I mean, this army alone is pretty good and more than competent enough to actually deal with it. In fact, this is kind of a, except for the Avari Warriors, this is mostly the type of army we want to use. Although we don't have much for taking the infantry. Hold on. I mean, we don't have much for taking the cavalry. Let's take these vineyard levies out and the thorn guard. That way, or actually, we just need a, we just need those guys. Let's try this out and take them out. But yeah, we just need to build uh, spearmen and archers. That's pretty much all you need to fight Cond with. Um, but yeah, I hope to be recording the first episode for the Woodland Realm maybe at the end of this weekend. Uh, I'm, I need to do some testing, make sure the scripts work um, as intended for version 5, which I'm sure they do. Because um, not too much has been changed. Um, I know you can get the ends, but I think that was, that was in the previous versions. And then that would leave, uh, what else is there? Let's put those guys into kind of a smaller formation. Pikemen can go kind of wide. Let's do crossbows in the middle. I like that, and then you can do Murkwendi Protectors on one flank with Loose Formation of Ari Shadows, Loose Formation Sentinels. Oh, yeah, we could actually do a... Uh, we don't have Cavalry, so we can actually use the uh, Stakes. So maybe we could do Stakes up the front, because they are all Cavalry. Yeah, there we go. I mean, how often do you actually get to use Stakes? And then just a nice wide formation of Thorn Guard. Avari Warriors, too bad they can't hide anywhere, that'd be nice. Avari Spearman over there, and then Avalon can go do his, do what he does best, of course. Alright, we should be immediately in range. Um, anyway, what were we saying? Oh yeah, the Woodland Realm. 
Uh, I know that there is the Lothlorien Alliance, that um, script that you can do. Oh, we should probably pull these guys away from those very egg nobles. They have AP um, arrows. So we definitely need to shoot those. Hopefully our crossbow doesn't do any friendly fire. Ooh, it actually got some of the very egg nobles. Wow, that's a really good shot. Alright, so let's see if they actually just run up into the... Uh, looks like they're going to run into this gap. Yeah, but some of them will get caught on the stakes. At least a few will. There we go. That's nice. That is very nice. How often do you actually see the enemy get hit by your... Uh, what do you call it? Hit by your, your stakes. These marauders charge the crossbows, but the crossbows have enough defense. Oh, wow. These... Uh, these horsemen are just going for it, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's, let's collapse on them. Everyone else, uh, hold position, hold position. Oh, they have Varag Bowmen over here? We could actually charge them. Oh my god, they're going deep. They really wanted to kill us here, but they're routing now, so we got them. But yeah, um, I, I think uh, well, there was something else that happened with the Woodland Realm, I think. I, I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure there was something else added to them. I could just be thinking of the Alliance script. Oh, you know what? I think... I don't know if it's been actually in the beta yet, because I haven't been paying attention to them. Um, I should, though. I should actually get, get in the mindset of, of knowing them and knowing if this change has happened or not. But I think there's supposed to be like a unification script with them and Lothlorien. I could be wrong. It could just be the Yavanna's um, guild thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure, though. Uh, I'm going to have to double check that. Alright, well, we can basically uh, just use our crossbows to deal with the uh, Variag Bowmen now. Mark 20 Sentinels can shoot at them. Yeah, at this point, the battle is just a, a, death, a death match with the uh, archers. In fact, let's actually bring the bo the javelins up. They can shoot these bowmen. I, I really like the look of these guys. I think they're pretty cool looking. If ineffective as actual archers. I mean, they just took like 15 casualties in one volley there. They do get a shield. That is one thing that Khan does get. Their archers get a lot of... They get a lot of shields with their archers. But uh, our archers are more accurate. So we're just going to shred these guys. You know, they still have five nobles. So we actually can... Work on taking them out with a few well-thrown um, javelins. Let's see if this makes good contact. I think that's their general. I think it's that guy right there. The uh, kind of fancier-looking gentleman. They actually changed the model. I, they, I, they used to have that like Japanese flag on their backs, like kind of what these guys have. But I guess they actually changed the general's model. I have not seen that. I don't really play Cond either. I just get so bored of their campaign, but... They should have some nice changes coming in version 5, uh, including the, uh, they'll, they, they will have the option to start off as a horde, kind of like the Ardenheim, where they can go wherever, with the ability to get certain unique cavalry units, depending on which region of the world they go to. Alright, looks like they're just gonna route, let's just, uh, shoot them down. Maybe we can get a lucky, um, volley with the, uh, artillery. <laughs> let's see, we're gonna snipe their general. Here comes one last shot. Oh, that was a Hail Mary. That is some amazing range. I don't think that's even... That's well beyond their actual default range. My goodness. But yeah, actually having stakes is, is actually going to be pretty useful against Khan. So we want to get many more Quendi Sentinels and uh, use those. It might be a little cheesy, but I mean, they shouldn't, uh, they shouldn't charge their cavalry into them. It's easily avoidable. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the Woodland Realm. I do like a lot of their units, especially the, the late-tier units that they have that take the armor from the Hobbit movies. I think that looks just really sick, and uh, I think the Woodland Realm elves might be the fastest. At least, they're the most aggressive. If not the most... They're not the most heavily armored, but they're the most aggressive, and I think they have perhaps the best archers also. We'll ransom, but they're not going to take it. Of course they don't. Um, but yeah, we need to amass our income and uh, get as many spear troops as we can in the front. We could even just try to hold the Black Gate and just kind of keep Mordor at bay. Or even take this fort here. Or we can just keep dealing with them at our front. However it goes is 
you know, how it goes. They might send these guys to Dorthalu, which I'm not... Uh, excuse me. I'm not really worried about Dorthalu. I mean, Dorthalu is a nothing town. Let's just go ahead and end the turn. But yeah, it should be interesting to play as the Woodland Realm, fight eating Dorgoldur, and then I guess eventually we'd go against... Uh, I guess we'd be going against Mordor again. But we could go into the Snowworks land and conquer the mountains. That'd be fun to fight them, because we're not currently fighting them as anyone. Uh, and then if we do the Ardenaeum, we could take them down, you know, towards Bree and Numenos or Mithlond. We could even go way up into the north into Angmar. I mean, whatever whatever you guys want with the Ardenaeum is, is what we will do. I'm okay with pretty much going anywhere as them. I'd, I guess I'd ideally not want to be in the traditional start, but we could do that. We could try something really risky where we take, like, Western Gondor. Uh, and, and fight from there. I, I definitely want to make use of the conscription units. Uh, like either Gondor conscripts or uh, Anadwife units. Oh, actually, you know what? That, that's, that reminds me. I want to hold off on the Ardenheim until Anadwife actually gets their, their roster overhaul. Because I think being able to use the Anadwife units, like the new clans that they'll get, as the Ardenheim is going to be fun. Even though I have no idea what those units are going to be. They have not been made yet. There's no... Models. At the time of me recording this, Hummingbird has not done any model work on them. They're still working on the Anduin and getting their roster updated. And they have all the units. I know they need to make the buildings now, though. Alright, so uh, let's take a look here. We got two spies. So we have one over here in Burr Southis. We can send him out to the west and kind of keep an eye on this area. And then the other one was in Rawberg. Oh, it's also on our border here. Uh, we can send him out. Uh, oh, we actually have two spies here. So what's going on over in Brown Boat? That's where Dale should have a town. I think it's right there. No, that's a fort. So Brown Boat's going to be somewhere right... I think that's actually it. So Dale has this territory. We're completely safe up in the north here. But we could use Eric to get some watchtowers. I want to get vision. And we actually have reinforcements coming over here. These guys will just meet up at Burr Southis. Just because we want to have as many of our strongest forces over there we'll leave uh we'll take the well actually we'll take the bladesman and the privateer cavalry down there and edwin you need to build a tower on this forest border and then head back all right in carousel we finished the irrigation so this place is making just boatloads of money if we make the fairground that'll be our next marketplace that'll bring us up to about another hundred gold so we can go for that. We actually need to get this thing up to 16,000 so we can upgrade it, but that'll happen in due time. So it's when we finish at Sword Singers Academy, so all that's left here is just economy buildings. And I guess the tomb, the Bard's, uh, what is it, the Bard's uh, Hall or whatever that the, that the um, culture building is called? Oh no, it's the Hero Shrine. That just gives us even more morale, so I don't know if that's additive or if that's just the top, because uh, the Avari Armory, no, not the Avari Armory, uh... The Smith Guild, no, the Sword Singers Academy gives you plus six morale, and then the Hero Shrine gives you plus three. I wonder if that adds, or if that is just whichever number is highest. Like, maybe it's just the plus six from the Sword Singers Academy. That is something that, I don't know how you would really test that. I, I guess you would just have to basically take a crappy unit like Vineyard Bowman and see how long they last in a one-on-one -on -one fight against something without, a, you know, without a proper general. Uh, but we could go for the shipwright. Um, that would get us more money. Then there's communal farming, mines even. So we'll just get all of that. There's even the apothecary. In fact, I want that because if we ever send a Thala out to the front, it'll give him the... Uh, oh, why is he poor with taxes? It'll give him the uh, health you know, retinue, like doctor. Doctor's the one you really want. In fact, his is already full, but we could give that doctor to someone else. Uh, but yeah, we'll go for the Apothecary there. Algyre got its great hull, so we can upgrade it, but we need to get um, public order here badly. So we get the Thorn Barracks, which would give us... Oh, it actually doesn't give us law. We'd have to go for the Lord's Hall, so we might as well do that, or we could go to the Tomb. The Tomb would give us happiness on top of the, the Culture Bonus, so that's that's a good idea, I think. 0.5% uh, from population growth. Yeah, that'll help. So we'll go for that. And then that leaves us with 7,800 gold. 
to get as many of our forces as we can to the front lines. So we definitely want Dorinian infantry. Oh, these Avari spearmen are quite expensive, aren't they? But they're going to be really useful. Avari shadows. I want. I kind of want some of the cheaper troops just because they're cost effective, like getting the levies. Not so much the bowmen, though. I want accurate archers, so we definitely want the Avari Naharim. Thorin patrollers, maybe. Here, let's, let's get more at Santon Week, as this is our proper recruitment center. Although I say that, we actually can't get much here. Um, and then, oh, that's one of the vineyard levies. Alright, we'll get the spearmen. And then in Marned Hell, we need to get your blacksmith up, don't we? But we could grab two crossbows from Marned Hell. And then have the Dorinian infantry there. I will set a rally point with these guys. We'll have them all meet up uh, right there on those crossroads. So right there at the border. Uh, Strondost, you do the same thing. There we go. If you don't know how to do that, you simply click a town, hold left alt, and then click wherever you want, and it will send a waypoint um, for your troops to go there when you train them. It can save you a little bit of time if you're just doing some mass recruitment. All right, speaking of recruitment, actually, is there anyone else we could send down? Norway, are you able to leave yet? Ah, uh, not yet. Elgire still, uh, still hates us. But if we get this new general from Karasat, we'll send him over there on this boat, which we'll put right next to the city. In fact, do we have any more boats? Because we only need the one right now. If we look at admirals, uh, where are those? Are those at the bottom? Those are captains. Okay, we have two admirals. There's one and there's the other. So we only really need the one admiral. So we could actually disband this ship or just merge them together. In fact, we'll do, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess if we need to, like, do a double ferry, it's better to have them. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that. And then, uh, man, these guys need to get retrained. They have some good experience. Um, looks like Captain Goher, we need to fight him. And we also need to fight, oh my goodness, that's a, that's definitely an army. Uh, can we take this army out to the field? It's pretty beat up. There's nothing we can merge. Let's stay in the walls. Oh my goodness. Alright, Norway, or uh, Avalon, you need to get in the walls, like right now. Let's combine your units. Uh, we need to get rid of one more. Let's get rid of these. Thorn Guard? Yeah, those guys can go. Avalon, go into the city. That gives you a mostly healthy full stack. And hopefully we can retrain. We need to build the barracks up here, don't we? Like, we need to get that Thorin Barracks up quickly. In fact, is, how much is the port even giving us? Only 735. We don't have any money to, ch to exchange with that right now, unless we can get money from Enidwife, which will reach... Oh, yeah, we won't even reach that this turn. It'll be next turn. Crap. All right, you go to the west. Let's keep moving our merchants over. I, I want to get those honey resources that we saw. That'll give us a lot of money. And you, which one are you going to? You're going to this one up there. Yeah, 1166. That's really good. Um, is there anyone else that we could send out to the front? Not really. I mean, there's some. Uh, there's the occasional unit. Ooh, Logarth is about to be attacked, huh? Uh, let's get those bowmen up. That means we'll have to send Edward in some cavalry to go save them. In fact, yeah, Edward is not going to make it. So we're going to have to send these guys out on their own. It's just as a captain. But yeah, if we can, we definitely need to be careful fighting Cond in the open. I mean, look at them, they're sending everything they have against us. Right now, I think we're their chief enemy. They might be blocked in from the west, meaning that they're going to put all of their um, soldiers in this direction. But if we can kill these armies and then push into their territory, like, I'm confident we can win. It's just dangerous because of how much cavalry they have and how strong cavalry is in Medieval 2. There's the potential for us to take a lot of damage. I mean, I'm willing to take that damage. Any troops that we lose, we can just replace. And especially because our production is is so high right now, we've we've raised the the means of production to a level that is not quite at the level of goblin spam from Moria, but we're getting there. 
Man, they still have Skarn up there. It's tempting to actually maybe just send a small force to Skarn and just take that. But I feel like the Elves, or the Erebor and Darwinian, I, er, not Darwinian, Erebor and Dale, I am all over the place. I'm sure Erebor and Dale can take out Rune. I don't know why they're not. Yeah, uh, pretty much the easiest way to fight Khand is, uh, if you've ever played Vanilla Medieval 2, it's the same way you deal with the Mongols. You sit in a town, you have spears and the choke points, and that's all you need to do. Um, Eldikar is a husband for Witherwind. Who is Witherwind? Witherwind, where are you? Oh, where did I, where did I go? No, oh, come on, go back, go back. Witherwind, you must be... Oh, here we are. No, that's Wayodwin. You're the... Oh, you're the daughter of Fourthwind. Okay. Yeah, Fourthwind's only surviving, you know, children are his daughters. Two daughters, and then he's got his grandchildren and his daughter-in-law. Man, what a... What a messed up situation he had. But at least he had plenty of sons, and, you know, the daughters are able to keep the line going. We'll have three generals that'll rebuild that epic line. I hope the music actually isn't too loud. I tried turning it up, so hopefully it's not too unbearable. Um, it sounds a little loud to me. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. I'm still playing with these options, guys, and figuring out what is the best mix. Um, but we did get um, the Paladins there. So we have uh, Deraglir. Uh, he's not really... He's not really that great, is he? Uh, he'll have to do, though. We'll get him across to the sea. He'll go into this backwater that is Elgire. And Alanin, I'm not worried about um, upgrading Alanin. Carverad, you need to get your public order fixed. What is going on here? Why is the unrest so bad? Is it just because of the culture? It must be. Let's get the standing stones. Mornadel has its Lord's Hall, so we can get the uh, Avari barracks now and start pumping out actual Avari units here. So let's go for that. And Enmahad has its Thorn Armory, so we can actually train... Thorn units here. We need to work on upgrading that, but I don't think we can until the population's gone up, huh? So let's just go for the roads. How much would that give us? Oh, we can't tell because we're under siege. Uh, we'll just go for the master builder's hall. What did that leave a lawn in? Which we're not really worried about either. Let's just get the standing stone so culture is better for us. Um, and it's cheap anyway. Oh, we have a new coming, a uh, new son of came of age, Athelward. He is, uh, he's got a renowned father. Who are you, the son of Athelward? Athelward, you got the green cloak. You're the son of Athala, actually. Wow, Athala actually has a lot of sons. My goodness. I know two sons and two daughters. Our family tree is really growing quickly now. Everyone's having children like it's uh, no one's business. But yeah, let's have you actually go, uh,. Maybe you could lead some generals out, because Athal is a good governor. So let's give you the doctor. And then uh, who else gives you um, unit buffs? The Avari scout, let's do that. Oh, and he got the upgraded armor too. That's perfect. Okay, because he spawned here. Yes, that is awesome that he got that. We'll give him the Avari metalwork so he's, a, so he's just really tanky. And I think that'll do. Everything else here is good for public security. Actually, public security. Should we give him the guard dog? I don't think we... No, no we don't need to. That'll stick with Athala. So Athelward will lead um, a new army. Oh, jeez, what's all this? Okay, you guys get in there. Athelward will lead the new forces heading to meet up at the rally point. And then, uh, yeah, we're under besiege in two places. And Eldekar, do we want to take you? I got some decent traits. Why not? Where are you? Oh, you're in Mordetel? Let's have you go... Uh, where would be a good place to send him? Maybe to Burr Monarchus. I know we don't have a general there. So he'll be a governor at that location. Moving there with his wife. It's not a bad town. It's on the river. It's got some nice property. I got an Olaf get over there. You get into Strandos. And we have 5,000 more gold to train with, so we'll get more units out. Um, we don't... I don't really want armsmen. They're not going to be useful against Khand. But we could just get uh, more Thorn Guard, Vineyard Levies. Is there anything else that can train? I guess Varfest is way over there. 
Maybe we should build up a lawn in for troops. That way we have another region that can actually pump out some decent forces. These guys, these Thorn Guard aren't upgraded, so that's a little sad. But the Thorn Bladesmen, at least they get Shield Wall, so that kind of helps them. We'll get two Bladesmen and two Thorn Guard. That'll give us quite a decent army. And yeah, we need to keep working on Elgire, but next turn we can get um, Eredair over here. So I don't really want to deal with these guys. Wait, where are they besieging us? Logarth? Yeah, so if we can just defend this, Edwin's going to be a little late, but that's okay. If we attack from here, are they in range? No, they're not. We're going to have to defend in that settlement unless they come out and attack us. But at least these guys can meet up in Varfest, and now Varfest has a very, very strong force. In fact, we can take out Captain Gorher right now. Let's push them away. Uh, we could fight this. We could also just auto resolve it. Let's just let's see what happens. Oh, we traded one for one. That was not actually that good, but we'll take it. It's fine. Let's um, rebuild our forces here, and then Edwardin's gonna uh, not Edwardin, but Swain is gonna go for um, the Black Gate. So we need to get some you know decent forces with him. We got elves. So that's four units of elves. Five units of elves once they can join him. We get all of these guys. We might as well take the cavalry because they're just sitting here being useful. We'll take the mercenaries also. Again, just sitting here not doing too much. This place is pretty safe. In fact, yeah, everyone is just going to have to come out here. We'll have five, so that'll be nine. Plus, this is 14. We can take six more units. Let's take these. Let's just take these guys. They'll join up with them. And then we'll get Privateer Axemen. That's actually a decent army. Now let's get the Privateer Mercenaries too. I mean, yeah, that's a full stack. Varfest can train more units later. Um, and rebuild its garrison, especially when that barracks comes online. You got it. He's becoming an infantry master, actually. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we do need to worry about Mistrand. They're gonna attack us here, aren't they? What if we just, uh, how's the balance of power there? It's actually in our favor. I don't really want to auto-resolve it just because of the forces we have here. That is a lot of cavalry. Oh, screw it. Let's just go for it. Let's test out Avalon's command. We're outnumbered, but we have lots of archers, and these are mostly just light cav. Let's see how, we're, how well we can command a army against a full stack that's, like, at least half-strong cavalry. Thankfully, they don't have any elites in these armies. Um, the elites that they got came from the Blue Wizard script, and thankfully, we don't have to fight those. Uh, let's wait. Let's get some better lighting. I want it to be brighter. There we go. That's nice. And uh, let me just do my usual turn down the grass detail. All right, so we have three vineyard archers. How many crossbows do we have? We have four of those. put all of those missiles together. Oh, my dog is scratching at the door. He wants to come in. And that leaves us with a decent amount of infantry. We'll figure out a line in a second here. Let's do, uh... We need to go kind of wide. Let's do guardsmen like that. With the Avari spearmen maybe right behind them. Right behind this unit, because they have less armor. Put them in defensive mode. Everyone go in defensive mode. Vineyard levies go kind of wide over here. Pikemen, let's take this flank. And the catapult fire at will from this position. And who does that leave us with? We have Avari warriors. They'll need to get into the front line. Thorn riders, thorn patrollers. Ah, oh, these guys are just going to be pretty much useless to us. But we can at least, you know, take them out as a cavalry. Um, core. Put those guys in like that. Oh man, my dog's gonna be really annoying, isn't he? More Quinny um, protectors. Let's put you guys on the left flank. Yeah, that's a lot of, uh, quite a lot of, um, what do you call them? Crossbows that we have. So let's see if we can do something with those. Maybe have some in the middle, some over here in this gap, and then one more right there should be fine. Gonna be very defensive. Ah, oh, that's right, we have stakes. Alright, let's use these stakes, like, right there. 
And I've already shadows, but you guys over here, that, that'll work. It's a little messy, but that's how it gets sometimes. Let's take the right flank with, no, let's take the left flank with the cavalry. I want to avoid the, uh, the stakes that we have here. We'll shoot one volley and then pull out. And right, Evelyn's going to have to really carry us today. Hopefully we don't take any friendly fire from that. Let's hit these step archers. That's a lot of Condish units. Here comes the first charge into the step archers with our light cavalry. Now Avalon should be able to beat these Condish raiders in a straight fight. But I want to save him for a minute. Here we get some, oh, we get some cavalry there. Oh, pull out, guys. What are you doing? Ooh, yes! <laughs> we got their general with the with the cavalry. Or not with the cavalry, but with the artillery. I can't believe that. Uh, pull out, Avalon. Those marauders should be anti-cav. We don't want to fight those. Let's pull back into our pikemen, see if we can bait them. All right, let's hit these, uh... Let's hit these Connish hunters right now. I can't believe we killed their general. All right, now they are. They should just go right into our farm and pikemen. Pikes down, hit the... Yep, there we go. And into the Morquendi protectors. Oh, yeah, those guys are going to die so quickly. We'll just let the archers fire at will. I don't really have the ability to really command them. Oh, my goodness. Those tribesmen are going to throw a lot of javelins at us, aren't they? Thankfully, they're not AP javelins. They're very low damage javelins, so I, I trust us. How's Avalon doing over here? He is just fighting the world, isn't he? Alright, we're gonna need to get him some support. Thankfully, these Marauders already broke. Farman Pikeman, let's push you up. Avalon should be able to beat these guys, I, I'm pretty sure. But it's risky, you know. Alright, we're gonna charge these Axemen. Bring up the Farman Pikeman. Again, we're gonna hold the defensive line. Let them skirmish with us as long as we can. Avoid melee. Oh, looks like these marauders are going to try to rear charge us. Yep, they got the charge. That's not good. And these nomad axemen are charging Avalon. So Avalon needs to pull back and retreat. Hopefully we can actually rear charge these guys. Yep, here we go. They're already wavering because their general's dead. Oh, did we actually... Yeah, we routed off these marauders. Perfect. Okay. So now, if we can just... Uh, Deal with this flank over here. Come on, can we get another charge, please? There we go. Charge to the Axemen. Hopefully we can make them run away. If they can route, we're going to have a much easier time. Yep, yep, they're routing. Perfect. What's this unit over here? Marauders? All right, Avalon charge. It's a good thing Avalon is just a beast. Fighting these uh, naked Marauders. The Elven armor and skill is just too much for them. How are things going on this? And they haven't even engaged us in melee yet. It's just a, a skirmish. That's all it is. I should have everyone just shoot at pretty much all of this. I guess. Just anyone who's in range. Our javelins have thrown everything they have. Alright, so... We are winning this fight with minimal casualties. Even though they have tons of arrows. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did these guys come from? Um, Riders flanking our uh, crossbows. That's what, I mean. That's what happens when you don't pay attention, now isn't it? But once these Marquandi protectors charge them with their pikes, yeah, these lightly armored marauders aren't going to be able to do anything. Yep, and they are done for. Yep, it is just that was just a slaughter. All of these step tribesmen are just dead. That is crazy. Just how quickly they died. Our catapult's not shooting right now. Let's have him shoot at those Condish hunters. Oh, Farman Pikeman getting charged, but it's Marauders. So we can take that fight. Oh, Nomad Horseman over here. But again, our Elven skill is just too much for them. They can fight all they want, but the Elves are too strong. <laughs> and then supported with the Northmen fighting bravely alongside them. Now let's try to charge these Condish raiders now. Oh, these more Quendi protectors actually nearly got them in melee. Yes, come on. Catch them, catch them. Come on, don't don't be in the pike wall. What are you doing? Oh, it's okay. Once we once we capture them on this side, come on, come on. Yes, we captured the archers. I think. Nope, they're just routing. Alright, never mind. 
Alright, so they're going to keep running most likely. Let's chase them out with these guys. And then Avalon and the patrollers can go shoot at whoever they need to. Yeah, we are definitely winning this skirmish fight. That's all it was. There wasn't even a melee. It's just been archer fire. Which is kind of cool to see that happen. Oh my goodness, all the arrows just come flying down. This is some really cool lighting, by the way. I like this, this time of day. Would this be early morning or early evening? I don't really know. But it's just a bloodbath. They, their archers can't really keep up with us, no matter how many they have. There's just a constant stream. In fact, we let's try to take these guys out. These nomad axes are getting a little too close. This reminds me of Shogun Total War right now. <laughs> Alright, man, look at those arrows just flying overhead. Can we get a point-blank volley? Let's hit these guys. I don't want these axemen getting in melee. They're not really shooting at the right target, are they? That's okay. I mean, if they get in melee, they're gonna die. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with these crossbows. They are not shooting properly. There we go. That actually pretty much stopped their charge in its tracks, too. Yep, they're routing... <laughs> Alright, how are things going on in this neck of the woods? I think we're still shooting at the Condish Raiders. Yeah, that's all that's left, isn't it? Just the Condish Raiders and a couple archers still fighting over here. That is just a bloodbath. All of these bodies. We've hardly lost anything. We lost some vineyard bowmen. So it actually, it might be a good idea for us to get a lot of these bowmen. They're not great, but uh, still. Khan doesn't have too much armor, so we can kind of counter them. Especially these... Step archers that we're basically equivalent with. I mean, they're 3, 2, and 7 defense. We're 3, 2, and 5 defense. But we get 5 armor, they get 4. So we're actually a little better when it comes to taking the arrow fire. They're better in melee, but we're better at at the actual taking the arrows with our levies. Alright, so now we're just basically capturing everything. And yeah, this battle was over. All they have left are some marauders over here. If we can just shoot those guys down. Oh, these bowmen, you guys can't go into melee, huh? Oh, they are just going to rout. That is it. Alright, let's end that battle. How did that go? We only lost 230. My goodness. Looks like Avalon got the most kills with 351. In second place, Mark Quendi Sentinels, 243. Avari Shadows, 220. So it really was just the, the Elven Archers doing most of the damage. But I mean, the Bowmen got, you know, a good 300 almost. Maybe 250 just by themselves. So that is very solid. Very solid indeed. So really, I should be getting more of those guys when we fight, uh, as we fight um, Khand. You don't need elite soldiers to win battles. You just need good tactics. Although, if we were fighting a faction like the Dwarves, we would not want to be employing these tactics. We would definitely want more crossbows. We'd probably want the Dorinian Armsmen for their good melee skill. And, I guess, the AP Javelins. But our archers, like Vineyard Levies, would be useless against Dwarves. Um, we're going to execute the Menacond. I don't want to keep fighting their armies. I'd rather just get rid of them one at a time. So we're going to go ahead and retrain there, and yeah, let's get more Vineyard Bowmen and more Levies just to kind of soak up the damage. That's a good idea. Oh, Clans of Enderwife, let's get that trade now. And let's do map information for map information. It's demanding. Oh, only 340? Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? Uh, there is one thing I do want to see in version 5 change. I want to see more saturation in these faction colors. They're very muted. So I'd like to see them pop out a little bit more. I don't know what it is about them. It's just, it's very down to earth, I guess. And would you look at this. Torgolder lifted their siege to just try to kill Edwin. I think, I think we can take this. Just to show you guys just how truly overpowered cavalry bodyguards are. Even if this was just a lone unit of paladins that wasn't even led by a general, I think I'm pretty sure we'd comfortably win. We have heavily armored knights that um, have a very good charge bonus, very good mass, and, uh, oh, what the heck? Oh, this is the river battle, huh? <laughs> I don't have to wait for them to cross us, which just means that they're going to get 
completely tired by the time they cross the river. They have to go down this hill, through the water, and then up this hill. Yeah, they're going to be exhausted, making it just even easier for us. I'm going to go into a wide formation, but yeah, I mean, if we compare the stats, I mean, 16 attack, 7 charge, 27 defense. Granted, they're at full chevrons, you know, max armor upgrades, a weapon upgrade. Still, that is amazing for a unit. And, I mean, these goblins aren't going to be able to do anything. Like, if I was controlling these goblins, I could easily win this fight, I think. But not against a player-controlled opponent. Or, I may be able to if it was a player-controlled, uh, you know, unit of paladins. But if they hold the if they hold the water... Oh, okay, good, they're, they're going across. These are the only, like, threatening units of these orc maulers, and they're not even sending them against us. They're sending in the goblins first, which just makes this even easier. We'll pull back a little more. We'll get plenty of space to charge into these goblin hunters and give us the cover of the woods. But yeah, since they'll be shooting uphill, they actually have to get even closer to us, which is just going to make it even easier. The only weird thing might be collision, charging into them here. But they're such trash units, I mean. Two and five, no defense skill. It's entirely armor. They couldn't defend themselves to save their life. Yeah, but they're just gonna they are gonna be in a weird formation. I don't know if we can get a proper charge here. I guess we can try. Let's see what happens as we run down the hill. Vintner Court Paladins just gliding gracefully down the hill. I think it'd be cool if these guys got the elven armor, but I know why they don't. I mean you can't get the elven armor upgrade if you choose this. Oh my goodness, they just are not stopping. Let's get another charge, please. There we go. Point blank charges. There we go. Look at that. That's a little bug, a little exploit you can do to keep charging at enemies. Look at that. They're just going to keep running through these goblins at point blank. <laughs> that is... Oh my goodness. We already killed them. We already killed the general. Yeah, that's a little exploit you can kind of do uh, if you are basically charging into a unit and there's another unit nearby that you're not currently engaged with the melee, your guys will do that little, uh, what do you call it, that charge animation. They're actually already routing from us, my goodness. I mean, I knew this was going to be easy, but I didn't expect it to be that easy. We've only lost two so far, and now we can chase down all of these hunters and completely wipe out this army. We'll just play this battle on time six. People, people ask all the time, they're like, we want cavalry bodyguards. It's like, this is the way you want to play the game. <laughs> Having one is nice, but imagine your whole army like that. I guess Dol Guldur, I mean, not Dol Guldur, but uh, Dor Dale, not Dale, jeez. Dor uh, Dol Amroth kind of gets that, but they only get like 13 swan guard per unit, so it's very balanced. They can't do something like this, where they charge into one orc fighter's unit and bring them down 100 men in a single charge. If we are charging these maulers, yep, there we go. We're just going to keep getting that charge animation. And it just killed all of those orc fighters. Now we can pull out. Oh, we can even just go into these guys now. Alright, let's pull out now. The uh, orc maulers are the only things that can actually do decent damage to us. Just because of that AP that they have. Alright, let's go for a big charge. This is going to kill the entire orc hunter's unit. Yep, they are done. Pull back and cycle charge into the Orc Maulers, please. If we can get a nice downhill charge. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. I'm going to recover their stamina and go downhill. They should counter charge us, which is just going to make them take even more damage. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that much. They should probably up the mass on some of these units, I think. I think that would be one way to balance cavalry a little better. It's like... These Orc Maulers, they should have had a ton of mass. They should have been able to easily countercharge us, but they just can't. Oh, we already killed 94%. Yeah, 4 to 1,291. Just, cavalry is broken in Medieval 2. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> like, you couldn't do this with, like, Grail Knights and Warhammer. If we were fighting the equivalent of that army in Warhammer, like... Three or four units of goblins, and then like some orc boys and some orc biggins to represent the orc maulers that we fought. 
I don't think a, a unit of Grail Knights would win, and that's the most equivalent unit I can think of to the uh, to what we just fought with. But I love the idea that there's just these elite trained knights that are able to fight against swarms of just crappy orcs that don't even know how to hold a sword properly. Alright, it's currently turn 74. Oh, we have a lot of building to do, don't we? Strandus got its apothecary. We really need to get that population growth here. The tomb would give that, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would give us five... An extra 0.5%. No, that's public order, huh? Does that, does that give health? No, that's just happiness. Happiness does not give you population, sadly. And neither does the ship right. We really need to transfer some population over here. But if we get the ship right... No, that's not even worth it. What about the mining network? 480? We would double our income. We'll hold off. Carver had got its standing stone so we can get the trader exchange in there. Forthrin's rest. Uh, let's get you with the uh, market. Let's increase our economy in some places now. Filter, you got your master builder's hall. So let's get uh, standing stones there. Mistran got its port, so... Uh, we should just go for military now, huh? We could get the Avari armor, Mason's Guildhouse. Thorn Barracks is probably going to be the, the best bet, though. And then Varfest got its Avari Barracks. So that means we can now get everything here except for the highest tier um, Elven units. Let's get the Leather Worker now. And yeah, look at that. We can actually train all of these units and make a proper standing army here. So let's go ahead and go for that. And that's all of our money. You guys join us, Swain, and Swain will make his way to the Black Gate to hold Mortar off there and kind of cripple them. Hopefully Dale... Oh my goodness, look at that army. Dale has a full army here with uh, early tier units, but they're decent early tier units. Erebor Infantry, Kadrat, Dalian Swordsmen. I would actually like to see the, the Dalian units replaced with those orange colors, to be honest. From like the Hobbit. Oh, they're probably going to lose... Oh my goodness, they have trolls. Okay, Dorgolder is going to definitely take qu quite a bit of a fight to deal with. But, let's see. We're going ahead and scout. Looks like the Anduin have all of this. And Dale has this, leaving the elves up here to fight the snow orcs. So Anduin and Dale should be able to tag team, along with uh, Lothlorien. They should be able to take out Dorgolder on their own. Uh, Vidusith, let's take you guys... Back to Santon Wee for retraining. And see how that works. While Edwin holds Bursalthus. We could even go for Dorling Barb and then gift that to, to Dale. But we'll see. We'll see what we do. Eldekar, keep heading over there. We've got our forces meeting up at the rally point. Athelward is on his way down. We have a lot of units here, don't we? No, we actually got a catapult? I didn't even realize we were training one of those. That's always good. It'd be kind of interesting if like, there was a path through the mountains to Strandos, but uh, that would make this place not so safe now, would it? Now you, we could... Yeah, we might as well send the... Uh, anything from Karasant should go to Santon Wee so we can get new armor. And now I have Eodair. You can drop off uh, Daraglir. And let's give you some... Uh, Decent governor traits. Let's give you farming advisor, architect, and uh, maybe biographer. Oh, no, we can't do that. We could do trade aid and uh, overseer. That'll help with the public order, I believe. Yes. How's that? It's red because he's a really, really bad governor and he's got. No, like, no acumen. Maybe we could swap him with Athol here, because this place is a town. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to exchange them. So Norway needs to stay here. You need to go up this way. And drop Duraglir up to, up to Rubar. 
And then Athel here can go down to deal with Elgyre's public order. Yeah, so Derringer, I'm sorry you have to go into a backwater settlement. But hey, you know, someone's got to do it. Oh, can you get off my land, Con? I need my income. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and save the episode here. Next time we'll catch up pushing through these armies and then taking Mataram while also going for the Black Gate. Uh, I think it'll be fun to take the Black Gate and just kind of hold Mordor off there with a the full garrison. Let's just take a look around with our spies, see if anyone's coming in. We have this army. Is there anyone in the shadows here that we need to worry about? That looks like we're in the clear. What about down here? I, oh, okay, looks like they just have... Just a general, no one special. But yeah, that will go ahead and do it for this episode, guys. So thank you if you've been watching. Consider hitting that uh, like button. And yeah, until next time.